you know what? I really don't care. I really don't care. Um, I haven't even gotten into that. I was reading what was on the paper. Um, I read it directly from the page. So listen, I can tell you that every time you come here, you've got nothing to add or contribute to this this channel. And for those reasons, I'm, I'm done playing with you. I know you're part of the hate channels and so I'm blocking you. I'm, I'm tired of it. Uh, I don't want to hear from your group anymore. You guys are drama channel. Stay on your drama. If, if you don't like the content or you think I'm, I'm doing something wrong, create your own channel and do it and show me how it's done. Uh, as far as dealing with your abuse on my own channel, I'm no longer going to deal with it. And as a matter of fact, if this continues to um, uh, keep going, like literally, if this continues past today, uh, action will be taken. Uh, that's why this is going to be going into members only if you guys don't knock it off. Um, I really don't care anymore. Um, but the hate channels need to move on. You guys need to find your, your next, um, you know, your next mark. Go find somebody else to harass. I want you off of my channel. I don't want you back here. If you would like to contribute to these cases, then you're more than welcome here. But if you're just here to incite some some nonsense, some some war that that's that only you guys are warring, I don't want any part of it. Move on. Find your next cash cow to harass and leave me alone. And that goes for anybody that supports those hate channels. I don't want you here. This is not the channel for you. Okay. Go find somebody else. I hate, and again, like I said, JLR is looking for a lot of bullhorn Betty haters. So you guys can go flood his channel. He's more than happy to hear about how horrible Bullhorn Betty is. So just, you know, you don't need to be here. There's plenty of other channels I hate you. So keep going, right? Just keep going. Um, no, I... And they call it a dox. They, they're going to understand that y you can say people's legal name here. It's There's nothing unlawful for, about that. Uh, so they've already hit me with a privacy complaint, which will go nowhere. Um, just like <laughs> went nowhere. And um, you know what? This is the this is what I would like to say. And then I'm again, you know, I'm getting over it. But you don't come after and attack people and then expect to keep your anonymity. If you want to keep your anonymity and talk about these cases, you can. But as soon as you start attacking people, you have no more rights to your anonymity. None. I don't want to hear you crying about somebody being doxxed when you have when you your pages are littered with trash talk and doxing other people, either by sharing their information behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, it doesn't matter. You're doing dirty. You're doing dirty. That's all that matters. And you guys have done dirty for two years. So much so that last year, one, one of your people wanted to come out and take out my channel and you see how that worked out for her. Causing me financial harm. It's not going to help anybody. I can promise you that. But what you guys need to do is just stay on your channels. You don't need to be here. If you don't like this channel, stay off of it. But if you think you're going to continue to steal my content to humiliate me with. So what is fair use? Fair use is a case-by-case -case test found in copyright law. When met, it allows a use of a copyright protected work without permission. For example, using a quote from a book in an article may be a fair use. The fair use concept is central to copyright law and helps promote freedom of expression and innovation. Let's look at some basic concepts. There is no formula to ensure that using a particular amount of a work will qualify as fair use. Also, it's not as simple as declaring, I think my use is fair. While the law gives some examples of things that are traditionally fair use, not all uses that fall under these categories are actually fair uses. And some specific uses that do not fall under these categories have been found to be fair uses. Fair use is a case-by-case -case inquiry. We have to analyze each use of a work. Essentially, fair use asks us to think through our actions. Federal law sets out four fair use factors. The first evaluates the purpose and character of the use. An educational, non-commercial, or transformative use is more likely to be considered fair. A transformative use adds new purpose, meaning, or message not present in the original, as opposed to merely replacing the original work. A use that merely replaces the original use or purpose of the work is less likely to be considered fair. The second factor considers the nature of the copyrighted work and will favor fair use if the work is factual or previously published. Here, consider copyright's purpose to encourage creative expression by providing exclusive rights to authors. The third factor evaluates how much of the original work is used. In addition, pay attention to the importance of what was taken from the work. Are you using a lot of the original work or the heart of the work? Taking too much when not necessary is less likely to be fair use. The fourth factor analyzes whether the new use harms the existing or potential market for the original work. Fair use requires an analysis of all the facts and factors. The factors may point in different directions and may not lead to a clear result. It is important when thinking about fair use not to jump to conclusions. Only a judge can make an official determination of fair use. 
This usually happens during an infringement case. Sometimes it can be hard to rely on fair use, especially if there isn't a lot of case law available. Well, there's going to be consequences to that bad behavior. So again, this is just my, my, my thing. Move on. Move on. Find somebody else. There's so many other people on YouTube that do a hell of a lot worse shit than me that you guys can be eating alive that won't be suing you. Go find them. Harass them. Tear their life apart. Call their family. Take pictures of their house. Put maps to their home. But if you think I'm... I mean, you guys have already doxed the shit out of me. I don't even have a problem saying my address online anymore because everybody has a fucking map to my house. So, yeah. The shit teacher. And um, they can keep privacying and, and doing... There's nothing YouTube's going to be able to say to me or do to me because it's not unlawful and it's not against the terms of service to say... True or false? If you make a video that encourages viewers to post cruel and malicious comments on another video, that could result in a strike on your channel. The answer is true. Content or behavior intended to harass, threaten, or bully others is not allowed on YouTube. Neither is maliciously recording someone without their consent or revealing someone's private personal information. Let's take a look at some examples. Creator A is angry after a heated exchange with Creator B and decides to share Creator B's personal home address and private phone number in a video that encourages viewers to send nasty messages to Creator B. In another video, a creator wants fans to communicate with them directly via social media, so they share their social media handles and email address on their channel. Do either of these videos violate our community guidelines? Yes. The first video violates our harassment policy. Don't use YouTube to maliciously share personal information about another individual. So, since you guys wanted to bring it up, it was only one sly comment yesterday, but since we want to bring a magnifying glass to it, let's bring a magnifying glass to the teacher. So, <laughs> trust me. Now, if you guys would like me to knock it off, maybe you guys should should knock it off because I've been you guys have only been dealing with me for several months. I've been dealing with with the likes of you, some of you for two years, some of you less. But just because I sat here quietly and didn't want to engage doesn't mean I can't. It's not my cup of tea, if you haven't noticed. But if you have noticed, it's something I do very well. So again, for all the hate channels, find yourself a new mark. It's time to move on. There is a lot more damage that can be done if pushed. I don't want to do it. I just want to have my little channel to talk about true crime, do whatever I choose to do, and to be left alone. You guys can do that. We can all live in this world in peace. Coexist. The shit that you guys try to drumbeat on every single day but just can't seem to find the secret sauce to do it. So... Now we're going to get on to Alicia Watts, to a, a true crime case, which did, that, that's the difference between our channel. So our channel, I may spend 10 minutes talking about crap about somebody else and two hours talking about the cases as opposed to 15 minutes about the cases and eight hours about everybody else. Okay, so we do things a little differently over here on the Bullhorn Betty channel. If you have Okay, noticed. so Holly, uh, I just walked you. I just want to tell you I don't care. I, I don't care because uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to be taking a lot of information and there's going to be a lot of people held accountable for the bad behavior. If you guys want to continue to continue to dox me and have trolls come over here, that's okay. But I'm going to let you know that I don't want to hear you guys crying when people start losing their jobs because of the, the conduct you guys are, are inciting. I'm trying to say I'm tired of it being on my channel. You guys can do whatever the hell you want to do, anywhere you want to do it, just not here. So if this continues, believe me, there are going to be a lot of people crying and screaming more so than the ones that already are. And I am not. And I'm going to repeat. Let me put my face on the screen so you know I'm being serious. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to be harassed anymore. I'm tired of the bullying. I'm tired of the intimidation and I'm tired of the threats. And if you guys want to continue to levy those, those intimidations, those threats upon me, buckle up buttercup. So my suggestion would be everybody just knock it off and move on. So this doesn't get any further out of control than it already is. But you're messing with the wrong one if you think I'm going to back down. The more you threaten me, the more you guys are going to have to deal with. And you guys may have a whole team and crew and a whole bunch of people behind the scenes doing dirty. Well, guess what? It's just me. It's just me. They're, I'm not doing dirty behind the scenes. I'm going to put it all up in here 
and put it all for the world to see what you guys are doing. So I'm going to tell you one more time, and this is my final warning to everybody involved. It's time to move on. There's a lot of people out there you guys can harass and pick on and bully and intimidate. I'm not the one anymore. So if you guys would like to continue down this road, as you see, a lot of people are going to be hurt and it's no longer going to be me. I will do it lawfully. I will do it legally, but it will be done. This is my last warning. You guys can move on and no harm, no foul. Let's deal with what we got going on currently. If you guys want to continue to push this matter forward, then we're going to do it. But I'm not going to sit here and talk about frivolousness when you guys have pushed the envelope and pushed the envelope and pushed the envelope. I'm not going to sit here and listen to you guys crying that people are losing their jobs and people are being doxxed because of what you guys have done all this time. You did this all to yourselves. You did this all by yourself. Nobody's attacked you. You attacked people. And when people have had it and defend themselves, you guys try to make yourselves be the victim. You are not the victim in our world. We are no longer going to deal with it. Even your own people are backing away from you and tired of trying and tired of being controlled by a small group of idiots on YouTube. We don't prescribe to it, we don't deal with it, and we're not going to address it. And you guys keep bringing it to my channel. And here I am talking about a case, and yet again, we have to stop for your drama. Not my drama. Not my drama. Your drama and bad behavior. But I will tell you, this is coming to an end. And you guys can fight it, and kick, and scream, and claw your way the whole way while we're stopping this. Or you guys can just realize you need to know when to hold them, and when to fold them. And now would be a great time to fold them, find a new target, and move on. That seems like the most appropriate thing, but this doubling down, tripling down has done nobody any good. It's getting a lot of people in a lot of trouble, a lot of serious trouble. So let's just say we can agree to disagree. You don't like me. I don't like you. Go our separate ways. I don't come over to your channel and, and cause problems. You don't come over to my channel and cause problems. That's how the real world works. Well, this is what I'm going to do, Behooved. This is exactly what I'm going to do. Let me, let, me, let me be very clear exactly what I'm about to do. If you guys do not leave, your favorite teacher is going to have everything she said about her students. Everything, every time she says she's recording me while she's on the, the, uh, the school board's dime. Every little thing she said about how unhappy she is at her school. All of the nasty comments she made about me. I'm going to show them all of her troll accounts, a teacher with troll accounts. And I'm going to sue her, the school district, and the Board of Education. I don't want to do that. Let me be very clear here. I do not want to do that. I'm being forced, yet again, to initiate another lawsuit. Because people will not knock it off. Now, Emmy, if you do not want to lose your job, it would be my suggestion to keep my name out of your mouth. Have I made myself clear enough for the likes of you? I'm over this. And if it continues, got to remember, I'm a content creator. My job is secure. This is my only job. You can't call my boss and get me fired for bad behavior. YouTube allows people anywhere to share their stories with the world so that everyone can access information, gain deeper understanding, break down barriers, and come together around shared passions. When you use YouTube, you join a community. That's why we have community guidelines. They help us keep YouTube fun and safe for everyone. When people feel content violates our community guidelines, they can report it to YouTube. We call this flagging. When you flag a video, you have an opportunity to indicate which policy you believe the content violates. YouTube also receives flags from subject matter experts. These individuals, NGOs, government organizations, and academics all over the world help us flag content related to the most sensitive subjects, like child safety, violent extremism, and hate speech. But did you know the vast majority of YouTube's flags don't come from people, they come from technology. We've developed powerful machine learning that detects content that may violate our policies and sends it for human review. In some cases, that same machine learning automatically takes an action, like removing spam videos. When human review is needed, one of our reviewers on YouTube's policy and enforcement team takes a look. 
Reviewers evaluate flagged videos against all of our community guidelines and policies. This includes evaluating metadata, like the title, description, and tags. Reviewers also assess if the content contains educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic intent. If the intent of the video fits into one of these categories, we generally leave it up. After carefully consulting the guidelines, the reviewer takes action. For a flagged video, a reviewer can take several actions, including restricting it, removing it, or keeping it live. An example of a restriction is age gating, which means the video stays on YouTube, but users must be over 18 and logged in to view it. Removing a video removes it from YouTube. This is done when the content violates our policies. We send the uploader an email explaining which of our community guidelines the video violated. When a video is found to be in violation of our guidelines, a user receives a strike. Accumulated strikes may result in a channel's termination. Three strikes and you're out. If a strike is particularly egregious or a whole channel is found in violation of YouTube's community guidelines, we may remove the channel and its videos immediately. Uploaders are notified and may have the opportunity to appeal the reviewer's decision. If a YouTube reviewer encounters content that poses an urgent threat, they can escalate the flag, and YouTube may notify appropriate external parties like local law enforcement. Our processes and policies were developed to protect our community and ensure that YouTube continues to be a place where creators, advertisers, and viewers can thrive. Thanks for helping us keep the YouTube community safe. But when you're taking money from our government to do a job and you're playing on your phone while you're supposed to be doing your job, I'm not getting you fired. You're getting yourself fired. Now again, this is my last and final warning to all you animals out there. Move on. Because you guys are gambling with a lot of people's lives and they're gambling with their own. You guys gambled with mine and you see I'm still standing here. There's not a whole lot you're gonna be able to do to me that you haven't already done to me over the last two years. The tables have turned because I'm no longer being silent. I'm no longer allowing it just to continue to happen. I'm now defending myself and fighting back. That's what you guys haven't had to deal with for the last two years. Now you're having to deal with it. So it would be my suggestion to talk your shit on your own channels. Keep the drama off of mine. If you don't create the drama, guess what? There won't be any drama here. See how that works? So Emmy, now that you're making me and forcing me to do this publicly, you do not want to fuck with me, little girl. Because the, 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 at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do. Because everything I'm going to do to you, I'm going to do to you lawfully and legally. And again, I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to do any of this. I just want to be left the hell alone. But your friends are playing with your future, young, young lady. So my suggestion would be to tell your friends to leave me alone if you don't want to have to pay for their, their bad behavior and yours. Last and final warning. Tomorrow, if I see any more shit, Emmy, from your crew, the email will be sent. And you can deal with whatever you created for yourself. That's how we will. Now, let's get back to our, our business. And guys, I am going to tell you this. This is the last time I'm discussing these hate channels on this channel. We're not getting involved in it. We're not drama. We are a true crime channel. But there's been a lot going on behind the scenes that many people said I was lying about that we're finding out was absolutely 100% true while you guys called me liar. You told me that this was frivolous. I was being stalked by people. Stalked. People coming to my home. I don't know if that can sink into your brains. asking for my home address for what purpose I haven't even begun 
a few you know, moments later. You know what? The information tells you one thing, MW. You know, I, 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 I'm not even gonna address it. Get the hell out of my chat. I, I literally can't stand you fuckers. I really can't. You guys, you guys, uh, if you want to hate, hate someplace else, but it doesn't matter. Emmy, I just want to let you know it's your people that just brought your ass down. So you can take that to the bank. I'm done with you. I'm done with your people. If you wanted to shut them up, you could have. You chose not to. You can pay the price for that. Now you fuckers can come after me. But I'm definitely taking some people out on the way out.